Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to show you guys what I tend to take with me when I have to travel light. And this is the bag that I use to do that. So in this bag is all the bare bone essentials I need to film basic interviews and run a gun handheld shots. So the bag itself is a Peak Design 15 litre everyday carry. I'll put the link in the description for you. It has customizable dividers in there so I can change it up whatever I carry. And it's got a wraparound zipper so I can gain access from either side of the bag, which is pretty cool. So the main meat and potatoes of this rig is the a7s3 this is the a7s2 because i'm shooting with the a7 III at the moment i used to shoot with a sony fs7 which was great but it's very bulky but this camera is way more versatile to use you know i can stick this on a gimbal or get those quick handheld shots at the drop of a hat and i even use it for photography as well every now and again now the main lens i use is the 24 to 70 and this pretty much lives on the camera i use it all the time i love the fact that i can get my wide shots medium and close-ups all with one lens and it's very handy for run and gun stuff so yeah this stays on it another thing that stays on my lens at all times is the pro mess filter which is a 1 8th strength it just blooms those highlights really nicely um, and it pretty much lives on the lens as well now i used the a7s3 in tandem with the atomos ninja 5 now this thing helps me keep my exposure correct at all times and it also gives me peace of mind having a backup of the footage recorded straight onto the ninja 5 as well for audio i use the sony lav system with the lav mic system, I grab myself the SMA P5, which is a hot shoe adapter that enables me to mount the unit right on top of the Sony a7S III. The audio signal goes straight through the hot shoe, no cables needed. I can just quickly throw this on, lav up the talent, and we're good to go. Next, oh, all right, okay. So when I'm shooting interviews, because the lav system is on the hot shoe of the camera, I would just mount the Atomos using this small rig clamp. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that I use these small rig clamps all the time. And in the front pocket area, this is the clamp I'd use to attach my Atomos to the camera. Now when I'm done with the interviews, I pack away the lav system and mount the Atomos back on top of the camera to shoot some handheld B-rolls with this NATO system. It's the same system I use to mount my accessories on my gimbal as well. Link is in the description if you want to see that gimbal video too. Cool. Next up in the side pockets, I've got an ND filter. I'm always battling harsh light and this thing helps me keep things exposed correctly. It's kind of like putting a pair of shades on your lens. So that's definitely a must have. And then what have we, got? we got batteries for the Atomos. These are NP batteries, but I like these ones because you can actually see how charged these ones are and you can charge them via USB-C, which is great. And then we've got spare batteries for the A7S III. We also have cable for charging. Okay, what else we have? Ah, the Insta360 RS. I like to use this all the time because I like to get behind the scenes footage whenever I go on shoots. I just use the selfie stick and I use the mount that comes with the Ronin. And then I just open it up, screw it to the bottom of the selfie stick, like so, and then I pop it anywhere in the room so I can get 360 time lapse shots of me setting up for behind the scenes. And next we've got little cable things like HDMI cable for the Atomos and then AirPods. What else have we got? Okay, yeah, battery compartments for AA batteries, which I use for the lav mics. And what else? Oh yeah, and then we have another compartment here. And this is where I store my iPad. Now I use the iPad to tether with my camera when I'm taking photos. It's just nice to be able to get the shots on a bigger screen. I also like to make sure I download some TV and film so I'm not too bored in my hotel room. So there's just a little side compartment here with a little case and in the case is some real crappy earbuds that I use just to monitor the sound for the lav mics. Oh there is just one more thing I do like to take with me the colour checker passport. This is really good just to nail your white balance especially if you're doing running gun stuff and you don't have time to nail your white balance you can just hold this up to the camera record a bit and then you can sort your white balance in post which is really handy. So yeah, that is pretty much it. This is all the gear that I would normally take with me if I have to travel really light. Um, all the links to the items are gonna be in the description below. If you do click on those links, they're all affiliated and helps me fund this little channel. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.